As we celebrate diversity this month and beyond, joining me today is Mike Fernelli, Executive Director with Phoenix Pride. Mike, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. First off, tell us a little bit about the Phoenix Pride organization. Phoenix Pride is celebrating our 40 year anniversary this year. Phoenix Pride started as a march in 1981 mm -hmm. downtown. It has grown to one of the largest LGBTQ organizations that hosts two of the largest LGBT celebrations in the state, our Pride Festival and our Rainbows Fest. In conjunction with our 40th anniversary, to also mark the milestone of our $1 million give back to the community. So at this point, we have given out $350,000 in scholarships to LGBTQ plus and allied students to continue their education. About $600,000 in community grants, which we award to other LGBTQ or nonprofit organizations mm -hmm. that want to start new programming that's gonna benefit the community, but they don't have the funds for it. What is the Melrose District? Give us a little bit of history behind it. It's amazing uh, to see the growth in our city and the development that we're actually having a district where our community can gather and that the neighborhoods surrounding it are so supportive. Now Cox is a big partner of Phoenix Pride. Why are partnerships like that so very important? Corporate sponsorships, business sponsorships, they help us with our operational costs throughout the year as well as being able to put on our events. Cox Communications has been a partner with Phoenix Pride for so long and last year they were supposed to sponsor the festival which got canceled. Instead of rolling their sponsorship over to 2021, Cox Communications made it a donation to our foundation and are coming back in 2021 as a sponsor as well as helping us um, at our locations with our internet and Wi-Fi connections to be able to get our infrastructure up to, to be able to hold the events. Now, Mike, the, the conversation of inclusion and diversity, that's such an important one this month and beyond year round. So why is that so important? Everybody wants to have the same rights. Everybody wants to be accepted just like anybody else. So diversity and inclusion uh, to me is the most important thing and going anywhere needs to be a safe space for yeah. anyone in our community and having diversity and inclusion makes it a safe space. Mike, it's been such a pleasure talking with you. Thank you so much for sharing your heart, this information, and just for everything that you do in the community as far as sharing love, hope, with other people, it really Thank does you. make a difference.